everyone, and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's episode, I'm going to be building a cute little vineyard and playing with the Vinery mod, which I'm so excited about. I did do a bit of caving in between episodes just so that I can have a good head start for this project. But if you are excited for that, then go ahead and grab a snack and continue watching. Like I said, I did go caving in between episodes, so I got lots of iron, even some diamonds, some lapis, some redstone, just lots of resources. And then I also found this quiver that I can't figure out how to use, so if you know how to use it, definitely let me know. All that I know what I can do with it is put it in my offhand, but that doesn't seem very special, you know? And I can't put it anywhere here, maybe like on my pants, no, can't do anything like that. So I don't know what to do with the quiver. And then I found some of these cryo marble shards and if you put four of these shards together then you can get one cryo marble and then you can combine a cryo marble with an iron tool of some sort and then get that version of that tool and it seems to be a bit better than just a regular iron tool which is pretty cool so I went ahead and I did that and made a little cryo marble sword which I think looks pretty cool so I'm pretty excited about that but I want to go ahead and get started on the project that I want to work on today it does feel a little bit weird to not be like getting a full set of diamond armor or just like progressing further in Minecraft on episode three, but here we are building a little vineyard in episode three. I've also started to spread out the crops a little bit more, and it looks like I need to continue doing that since the carrots are almost grown now, and also the onions over there. So I'm going to be building this little vineyard back here. I want it to be kind of separated from our house because again, my house is a farm, it's not a vineyard. So I want the vineyard to be over here separate from my actual base. It looks like there's a little sign over here that says 300 blocks. I think that means that there's a village 300 blocks that way, which we know is true because there is definitely a village over there. And then there's also a little ruined portal over here too. Maybe it has some special loot in it or something. That would be pretty cool. And this portal is almost finished too. Um, I don't see any cool loot. I mean, a block of gold that's pretty cool but i'm just gonna leave it there for now so i've never actually been to a winery or a vineyard myself so i don't really know like how it works or how it looks but my plan here is going to be to build a building and then to build a little vineyard along like just the land over here i don't really know what the purpose of the building is but it's probably to store wine or something like that and oh my gosh that entire forest is on fire wow i've never seen a forest fire quite like that in minecraft that is so sad quite the forest fire but i'm going to be using spruce and hemlock and also the redwood log believe it or not in this build and i went ahead and started planting these little saplings here but i honestly might just start chopping down the forest over that way on that hill or over on that mountain just because it's gonna take so long for these little saplings to grow and i'll just plant them back it'll be fine i also really want to get a sleeping bag too because if you set down a sleeping bag it doesn't change your spawn which i think is really really cool so my spawn can still be set by my house but i can still go to sleep wherever i want but there's just literally no sheep like where are all the sheep i don't see them there's tons of pigs literally so many pigs and lots of horses but where are the sheep i have no idea we would have to journey just to get wool and if you remember i didn't even collect wool to get my first bed i took it from a village oh look at this pretty little bird uh blue jay that's so pretty hello blue jay anyways this is where i'm going to be collecting the wood because we need some of these hemlock planks or hemlock logs rather and also the redwood and did it not drop any saplings really okay what about you will you drop saplings yes you will thank you i'm really not trying to deforest an entire forest here i don't think this was supposed to happen okay weird little glitch there i got a good amount of hemlock and also redwood log and also some saplings so i can go ahead and plant some more saplings over that way however i really need a sleeping bag for this build because i don't want to remove my bed necessarily from my house and i want to be able to sleep as i'm building so i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the village and see if i can find a sheep or maybe a little shepherd or something so i was thinking that i could trade some potatoes with a farmer 
get some emeralds and then maybe buy some wool from a shepherd that would be so cool that is like what i want in this little minecraft let's play being able to walk down to the village and trade for items that i don't have i don't know it just feels so cool to me oh is this a waystone how did i not notice this before so this is a, a thing that we can teleport to so we can go here and give one level to the waystone and teleport here if we have another waystone so this little village is called kuktami kukitami okay that's cool wow i'm so happy about that i wonder if we can get a waystone back at our base oh my gosh he just like popped up right there that was a little bit scary oh hello villager oh you don't want my potatoes sad day oh my gosh i completely forgot about beetroots there are beetroot oh you don't want my potato either but you want asparagus that is so cool um i'm not having any luck so far literally zero luck even the villagers don't want my potatoes i've worked so hard on growing potatoes and they don't even want my potatoes maybe we can find a sheep this way oh i see a sheep way over there right next to that red circle is the red circle evil i'm not sure you know what? i did say that i wanted to kind of explore back over here so what if we did that so we can kind of kill two birds with one stone and explore over this way there seems to be another village here so maybe we'll have some luck over that way. I am down for that idea. So let's go ahead and do a bit of exploring. I definitely did not plan on doing this at all, but I'm so excited for exploring. Like I said, back in like episode one or something, exploring is one of my favorite things about Better Minecraft. Oh, we just have to be very careful to stay away from the evil windmill. Oh, and here's a, an ink sack and also a duck egg. Thank you. Oh, and our snail friends. I tried to put the snail in a bucket, but it didn't work. That actually looks so cool with the wee and the weird generation. And then also like the particle effects from the waterfall. That looks really cool, though. It also looks very spooky. And look, there's a little build over there. That looks cool. Let's check that out. I see this thing over here too. So I want to check this out. Also take some of the sugar cane. Let's just take a little peek. What are you? Um, Something kind of spooky, it looks like. I think these are like catacombs or something. Look at the mini map. There's like some kind of maze or something down there. So... I don't think that we are ready for that, honestly. Okay, let's check out this little build over here. Oh, and there's another snail. I just think snails are literally the cutest creatures ever. Oh, it's so cozy in here. Hello, sir, hello. Oh, they're together. Harley, Nicole, the fisherman. And I, I don't think I'm gonna try to say that, but that's cool. They're just, oh, they want wool. I actually want your wool, please. They have some books, an enchanted book. Oops, I just threw one of my duck eggs. You missed the spot. What does that mean? Is there like a little secret in here? I don't wanna like destroy their house. I really don't know what that means. So if you know what that means, let me know. I'm still gonna look around a bit. Oh, whoa, they have so many little goodies. I don't wanna take all their goodies though. Cause it makes me feel bad. Oh, oh, I just put E on that sign. Oops, I did not mean to do that. It's just so nicely decorated. I'm so jealous of this cute little house. We have to make our house look this cute because this is adorable. I really feel like that sign is telling us something, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, maybe under here? Uh, no, that would be a no. I have no idea, honestly, but it is so cute. I love this little house so much. They have carrots, potatoes, wheat. It's just, I love it. It's so cute. They're just living out here all by themselves. See, it's kind of like me, you know, they have their cute little farmhouse and then they have the village right outside of it. I think that's so adorable. I love that vibe so much. Look at all of the ducks. Anyways, let's go ahead and go on over to this village finally. Oh, and there's a pillager. Oh, do you see the mini map? Why are there pillagers and just villagers mixing together? That does not look like a good sight. Uh, I did not bring my shield because I was not planning on fighting anything. Frankly, I just wanted to find a sheep, but I think that is a pillager camp. And then this is a villager village. Okay, we hate that. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the the pillagers are winning here. People are strange. What is that? Find an illager campsite. I'm being chased and I need to go to sleep. Oh, and there's sheep over here. That's perfect. Okay, we'll just go over here and shear these sheep. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's a little brown sheep too. They're still coming for me. And sleeping bag. 
Well, I guess we got what we came for, so that's cool. Except I was hoping for more out of this village. Oh, and look at the copper golems here. I will help you. There you go. There you go. They're so cute. Where are the iron golems? I really wish that this village could be protected because look, look. That's so sad. Oh my gosh, it is literally so sad. I cannot protect the village. I apologize. I really wish I could, though I do want to uh, do this waystone again. So if we do this, then we can just like literally teleport back to our own village. Oh, rest in peace, Iron Golem. Oh my gosh, this is so brutal. If I had my shield, then I would definitely consider helping them. But I, okay, yeah, we're just gonna run away actually. I haven't died yet and i don't really want to die anytime soon i don't think we're ready yet i would like to get a little bit more equipped before we take on a big thing like that it's crazy that those two like villagers are pretty much at war and the pillagers are winning it's just so sad but also i feel like there's so much story involved with those two villages i just think it's also kind of cool honestly i was like oh what is that that looks so cool it's just my fields that's all so upon planning this build i saw these boards which is kind of like the plank but it's a board instead so i want to see how we can craft that oh right here board okay so we just put a bunch of plays together and craft a board instead that's really cool i do want to grab my woodcutter back from my base but i'm gonna go ahead and get this build in again we're building with hemlock spruce and then redwood so i'm excited to see how it turns out so let's go ahead and get this build in Here we have our little winery complete. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I've never really built anything like this, so I'm really proud of myself. Typically, I only build like rectangles and squares in Minecraft. Um, example, my starter house. So I'm really happy with this. I think the little window boxes are really cute and the detail that I did around the windows. We have like this mini little tower here on the side and then more window boxes. And these little windows too, they kind of look like they're pushed up a little bit maybe. That's kind of what I was going for and then just like another little extension coming here off the side and then inside I didn't do anything besides just put a floor down so I did do that and then also I need to fix that and change it into the stripped logs because originally I had these boards instead of the stripped logs but I just didn't like how it looked so I'm really happy that I decided to go for the stripped logs now I need to get the actual vinery in so first things first I should probably chop down these trees these trees it grew so much bigger than than the ones over there on the mountain did, which is pretty funny. All right, and that's the last tree. It's so much faster chopping down trees in better Minecraft. So I think that for these grape seeds, we unfortunately can't like just plant the grape like you can with sweet berry bushes. And then we also can't turn them into seeds, which is just a little bit frustrating. And then breaking it doesn't do it either. So the only way to get grape seeds is to break grass and just hope that grape seeds come out, which is not the most efficient method to do that, but it's kind of what we had to rely on. So I have some coarse dirt, fences, and then a couple of oak leaves, which I definitely will need to get more. But I think that what I'm going to do is kind of have like waving lines, almost pathways of coarse dirt going in between all of the grape bushes so maybe we'll start over here and then start placing this coarse dirt if we need more coarse dirt i luckily have more gravel so we can definitely do that but i guess let's go ahead and see how this looks so kind of like this and then we can see here on the map uh, so I'll have these pathways and then I'll have the grapevines, pathway, grapevine, pathway, grapevine, and kind of do it like that, like stripes of grapevines. I think I want to get one of the grapevines in just so that I can see how this is going to work. And then I can kind of continue with these pathways. So maybe I'll start off with some fences and then in between the fences, I'll have kind of grape seeds sprinkled throughout and then have the oak leaves sprinkled. Maybe I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do this. 
oh, I guess it's fall now. Whoa, that just like happened all of a sudden. I just woke up and it was fall. Okay, well, I guess if the oak leaves don't really look how I wanted them to look because I wanted them to be green and now they're brown. Okay, well, I guess that's fine maybe. This is kind of what it's going to look like. I think I would like to get more grape seeds in here, but I am very, very limited. So I'm trying to kind of space them out, but this is kind of how it's going to look. I don't think it's too bad. I'm just concerned about the grape seeds. I don't don't think that we're going to be able to get enough, honestly. I would love to sprinkle in some sweet berry bushes, honestly, but I just haven't found them, so that's not really an option. If we look here in the map, it looks like this is the only part that's loaded in. So this is the only part that's autumn, which is pretty funny, and this is all super, super green. But I'm sure if we went over here, that it would turn autumn over here. And these trees are green, which is very interesting because it is in the loaded in part. So I wonder why they're green. Kind of makes me want to go over there and get the green leaves because I really want this to be green. I actually do think I'm going to go over to this one area that has the green leaves because I need leaves anyways. So might as well go over there and see what those leaves are about. Ooh, look at these like cool vines. Oh, ivy. That's so cool. It's just like growing up the tree and up the hill. Oh, Oh, cute little songbird. Look at him. He's so cute. And also, I think that this is the green leaves over here. And there seems to be a ton of bamboo. Interesting. And one of those mushroom things. But I'm pretty sure those mushroom things have spawners inside of them with like piglins or something. So we will be avoiding that for now. I've also been trying to collect some more grape seeds with a little bit of success. Whoa, look over here and all the mushrooms. Okay, this is the dark oak forest. Okay. And then I just need to steer clear of the mushrooms. So I'm going to go this way. Whoa, look at this. What is this? Mesmerite. That is really cool. Can we do anything with mesmerite? <gasps> oh, I heard a noise that I did not like. <gasps> Oh, it's just him. Rootling. Hello, Rootling. I'm kind of scared of you, honestly, because you make really weird noises. So we're just going to leave the Rootling be. So it seems like Mesmerite is just some kind of block and we can't really make tools or anything with it. No armor, but we can like build with it if we want it to. Now, I'm wondering if these are green just because of the biome they're in or if it's because they're actually just green leaves. I'm kind of afraid that if we shear those leaves and bring them back over then they're just going to be brown again because it kind of looks like they're partially brown in some areas. So maybe that is just the biome they're in instead of the actual leaf. Yeah, these are redwood leaves. Okay, these are oak leaves. See, I think it's just the biome, the lush redwood forest. I think it's just the biome. So I kind of came over here for no reason then, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, look at all the witches over there. That's a lot of witches. Well, I guess since I'm over here, might as well shear these oak leaves and just use them still. I'm back in my base now and I got some spruce leaves too on the way to see if they would be green and they are indeed green so I think we're going to be using spruce leaves instead uh, and if I need any more then I have spruce sapling so that's what we will do but I'm gonna go ahead and get this little like grapevine thing in. I think that our vineyard is mostly complete. I added another little grapevine over here and these are so fun to walk through. I think they feel so cool. And then I added another skinnier one over here. And then of course this little archway that I think looks so cute. And then I also added these little walls around here. Uh, kind of reminds me of chocolate, like milk chocolate, dark chocolate kind of, or like peanut butter. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Reese's Puffs. That's what it reminds me of. But I needed some kind of wall, just something there. And now this area is pretty open. So I could definitely add something here, maybe like a little well or something. But I think that honestly, I'm going to end this episode here. I've been building for quite a while. So I think I just want to end it here. And next episode, I definitely have to do something with the interior. We didn't even really do anything with the Vinery mod like I had originally anticipated. I know that there's like a bunch of like 
like wine casks and stuff like that. Like you can actually make like red grape juice, white grape juice. That's so cute. And then see, there's like wine barrels. There's like bottle storage, stuff like that. So there's still so much more to explore with this mod, but we actually have the winery and vineyard in. So we can kind of play around with the mod a little bit more in next episode. I hope that you have enjoyed watching me build this little vineyard. Who knows what we're going to get up to in next episode. But if you have liked this video, feel free to like and subscribe. All of my socials are linked down below if you want to check those out. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.